Okay, in this lesson, we want to create such a this project that uh, we have an emitter. We begin from the emitter, we trace the emitter, and after that, we use a gravity for, and uh, we change, we convert the emitter to the moist spline to have a more control, then sweep the moist spline, then use the uh, attractor gravity to this dynamic grass. And as you can see, uh, you can simulate the touching the grass with this field and attractor. So in this lesson, we lot of, we learn about the tracer and all other MoGraph tool that you can combine with other Cinema 4D tool. We use a lot this force uh, menu that we explain them after this example ends for MoGraph and you learn them in detail, don't worry. Let's begin for project. Okay, let's begin. Uh, it's very simple, but technical. You can learn a lot of things. For doing that, dynamic or MoGraph most blank grass, go into the simulation and create emitter. Rotate the emitter in this direction, 90 degree, to emit the emitter exactly in this direction. Uh, we need a few because it calculates too much. Because of that, we're going to the, this frame. And in emitter setting, the birth in the viewport 6 to the 6. I will be explaining them more, don't worry. Lifetime 15, it means it's uh, create from the first in the 50 and then end. As you can see, there are lifetime. Nice, you can make it longer. Our stop emission, mm, this is nice. And as you can see, they're emitting and done. So we want to create a tracer from them, select the emitter. Simply, as I said, explained before, <clears throat> you can go to the tracer. And as you can see, the emitter are traced. Before, we need to go to the emitter and change the angle to any direction that you want to uh, distribute them more like this. But not very. Modify this. Nice. Go back and <clears throat> play again. That's nice. Another step is that we want to create this tracer to the MUSP line. Convert it to the MUSP line. It's very easy. Go to the MUSP line. In a MUSP line, as I said before, we have a spline mode. That in a spline tab, you can define a spline as a source. Which spline is a tracer? You can click and drag it here. And it's convert the tracer to the MUSP line. And now, from the emitter, we convert it to the MUSP line and we have full control of the MUSP line. <clears throat> yeah more nice nice and i want to bend them for bending this is a moist line you can add a forces to them select the moist line or you can add a forces you can exclude or include but if you add forces it's calculate for moist line tracer and meter go to Simulation, forces, and gravity. As you can see, I explained them more. Don't worry, but as you can see, they are let's have more gravity. <clears throat> you can go to the tracer and make the type to bezier and subdivide it to bend better. It's nice. And change gravity sitting to fear number that's nice for us and another thing that i want to explain it in the forces we want to add it to the moist line it's nice but in the emitter i don't want i want to exclude from the gravity that calculate just for moist line exclude from that that's nice and i don't want to see emitter and don't want to see the tracer just i want to see the moist line and the gravity and another thing that you can add is a wind you can add a wind to wind 
But another interesting thing that I want to ex, uh, to add it, it's uh, when we uh, add a field or object, uh, uh, they are moving based that object. <clears throat> Uh, another interesting force that I want to introduce you that we explained it late it's the attractor. As you can see, the attractor is attract. As you can see, it attracts uh, the Mu spline in its way. We use a Mu spline because you can add the forces to them. It's very interesting. In a field, you can create interesting spherical. And as you can see, it's attract based on this spherical. This is attraction. You can go negative of that. You can select the forces negative number. It's, uh, as you can see, the objects avoiding the, this field. As you can see, you can go to the here <coughs> and change it to exactly. Don't, uh, we don't need fall off. And as you can see, the objects are avoiding this field. Interesting. Look at it. It's the vice versa of the attract. So you can uh, attach an object to that and simulate the uh, grass touching. Nice. And of course, for seeing that, you have to... to um, Add a sweep, <clears throat> for example, a circle, sweep this circle, I don't want to see that, and uh, sweep the moist line. Nice, and the moist line, and the spline, you can control the widths. Nice, uh, the diameter of this, uh, it's not, that's not important because we are controlling in, in directly in the moist line. And as you can see, you can simulate this touching with that. Nice. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.